The difference between a, a good and a great portrait is the image will follow you and reverberate in your memory, in your mind, one that you can reflect upon as having had some impact on your life, something you strive to see again. Many artworks have a tendency to do that if they're great. Many of the portraits that were included in this competition touched upon either a direct emotional response or a memory of an emotional response. I'd have to say the works that stood out to me were the works that at this point really stand out in terms of contemporary conditions, those that pertain to workers who toil under the threat of deportation, and also people who have served in the military to defend this country who maybe might not be recognized. It's all about valuing the person and at the same time honoring the person, understanding that we're making a contribution to other people's view of the world and of ourselves. Overall, and looking through all of the submissions that we've seen for the 2019 Outman Awards, I was really excited. There were a lot of different types of portraits, different medium, different artists from different places across the country. The quality was high, and that's really exciting. You can know an artist and know their work, and it's usually amazing, but sometimes you don't always connect. But all of these works that we've seen have been really exciting to think about. As portraiture continues to be used by artists, and as more artists are using digital technology and using mixed media and thinking about installations and performance, we're going to see more and more of that making its way into portraiture. I think overall, opportunities and projects and exhibitions, competitions like this really do allow for us to take a snapshot of work that's being made now and really see commonalities, but also the differences in how artists working and living across the country are making work, and it's a really valuable opportunity. When I'm looking at painting, I'm looking for something that's different. I really enjoy that there are a lot of different media represented. I don't think it's so much that portraiture is changing, but that all these different mediums in art are becoming equally relevant. I would say that the artist who came in first place, there was a strong consensus about that work. Its subject matter, especially, was very moving. The other consensus that we reached was that photography was a very strong medium this year. There are a number of photographs that you'll see represented in the top seven. As a painter in portraiture, I look for individuality. I look for a subject that is unique, idiosyncratic, certainly color, composition, technique, use of materials, concept. It's all very, very important that all comes to bear. And as a juror, I think that I'm most impressed with art that is about something, that is sensitive enough to know that we need more than a pretty picture right now. That in this day and age, uh, there, there's a lot of people who are creating work that's technically good, but that, that's not always satisfying. I'm looking for something that, that kind of digs a little deeper, that gets into more about identity, a mystery. You know, unravel something that's hard to put your finger on. Sometimes these works don't have to be pretty or beautiful, but it's about the conflict. It's about the artist addressing an issue. For me, a good portrait has power. A good portrait is sensitive. It connects with other people. It starts a conversation that allows the viewer to finish it. A good portrait also gives you a sense of history and time and placement. It tells us about ourselves now, but it's futurist. A good portrait will be able to be seen like 100 years from now and will be able to make a contribution even then as a record, if anything else, of maybe what existed in the past.